in the 21st century. Not only is international cooperation obligatory in terms of dealing with cross-border transnational crime investigations, and especially when we seek to apprehend fugitives who can slip up through the digital world or actually jump from country to country. It is critical also that part and parcel of international cooperation must mean that you have access, you network with each other in order to make sure that you understand each other's laws. That is another thing. You may have a situation, this is another elephant in the room. Another elephant in the room. And I'm going to say, Mr. Kokinis, I'm sure you know what they're talking about, where you will have a small state dealing with a very big state, and the big state is going to crack the whip, but then there is no reciprocity. If you have a case where the small state needs prompt attention, and cooperation from the big state, lethargy and apathy creeps in. So, although we have different sized states with different economic and financial capacities, it is important that when it comes to international cooperation, it is one standard in terms of cooperation because that is going to be the key in enhancing efficiencies in respect of catching or apprehending fugitives from country to country.